Hello everyone, this is Mr. Gadget Mix and today we are going to take a look at the Vegas Movie Studio 14th version, which is the latest version. Before we move ahead, let's take a look at the specifications that I have on my computer. I am running everything on an AMD FX4300 quad-core processor that runs at 3.8 GHz. For the graphic cards, I have the NVIDIA GTX 1066 GB. To be specific, I have the Zodex Mini version, which is amazing. It doesn't take a lot of space in my cabinet. Before, without further ado, let's fire up the Movie Studio 40. So it said initiated graphic processing. More on that later, by the way. Anyway, this is the welcome screen. You are shown your recent projects on this side. You can create a new project. You, you have a shortcut to show me how tutorials. Just start using Movie Studio here. Let's start a <coughs> new project. Let's click on the new project real quick. Okay, we are already in the new project. I was just copying around. Anyway, uh, let's add some media. Let's add a sample movie. Just double click it and it will automatically be added to the video field. And its audio is also added. If the video contains an audio file, it's audio, audio, audio stream, it, it's already added. Let's add some other media. You can add JPG or audio file, whatnot. Let's add this picture. So I'll show you how easy it is to, you know, add a fade in, fade out, uh, you know, fade, fade effect. Uh, all you need to do is just drag this thing and drag this thing onto the previous clip. So it creates this thing called X. It says like this effect will start two seconds before the actual thing I'll show you what I mean so let's put the cursor here and press the play button there you go easy nice and easy so if you have some experience with the Windows Live movie editor thing you'll have no trouble using this thing there are lots, lots of transitions here lots of video effects that you can play around very easy to do you can also add your text, make a slide shot of it, and it's very easy to use uh, if you are intimidated by, you know, the latest movie editors and you don't want to waste time, you know, learning basic things. If you want something to do, if you want something for basic video editing, Movie Studio Vegas will do just fine. The only thing I don't like is the fact that it doesn't make use of the graphic card. Uh, there is just no option to enable, you know, video uh, encoding. But when I encode something, it does seem to make use of the GPU slightly, not much, but it does make use of it. I mean, I have a really powerful GPU in my computer and. I just don't like that it doesn't make use of it you know it should have made use of it in a really nice way but it doesn't but I still like to use it because it's just so simple to use to make use of the GPU you have to use an mp4 you have to use mp4 format otherwise it won't work at all and let me show you what happens uh, Okay. Oops, I clicked on something else. God damn. All right. Uh, where is that thing? Yeah, I'm after, but I actually wanted to show you if the GPU actually kicks in or not. So right now it is at 35 percent because this thing is actually using it. Uh, it. This is a proof that Movie Studio actually uses a GPU. So let's give it a name. Let's call it test click on next and let's see if something happens in the afterburner or not so almost nothing is happening so it makes very little use of it but the processing is still pretty fast it could have been much faster if it was making full advantage of it it makes it does like you know, it just never uses more than 35 percent of my gds 1060 let's click on click on cancel and then let's see if 
the program stops using it or not. Let's cross. No. Let's see if it drops. It actually rose. Oh, that was the temperature. There you see. Uh, it went down. So the application was actually using it. There you see. I'm starting it again. And it's going up. So it's a proof that the application does make use of the GPU unlike some other people who say that it just doesn't it does make use of it, the GPU so anyway this was my quick review of this app it's a very nice and easy to use app for basic movie editing it's not as featureish as the other ones like Adobe Premiere but for more most people this will do just fine so anyway this was my review of it uh, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Just like this video to show support. That's all about it. Bye bye.